Hi everyone, my name is Shannon. I'm the assistant curator here at the Tom, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at this textile work from our collection titled White Snow Goose of Canada by the late great artist Joyce Wheeland. Wheeland was a Canadian filmmaker and mixed media artist who in 1967 became the first living female artist to have a solo exhibition at the National Gallery of Canada. She lived for a brief period of time in New York City, but was primarily based out of Toronto, her hometown, and was active from the late 1950s until her death in the late 1990s. Internationally, she has become really well known for her film work, um, but it was in Canada that her mixed media practice really took off and resonated with its audience. Wheelan's work is overtly political. She addresses topics that are reflective of the social and political circumstances that she lived through. She was a feminist, she was concerned with issues relating to nationalism, and she was really ahead of her time um, in being concerned about environmental issues. For example, in the 1960s, she spoke out against the use of pesticides. She was critical of Canada's industrialization and its export of its natural resources to countries like the United States. And in 1971, she stood in solidarity with um, the Cree people in James Bay against the construction of a hydroelectric dam. All three of these topics, feminism, nationalism, and the environment are represented in this small but mighty work. If you look closely, you'll see that the artist has used embroidery floss and fabrics to sew a crest in honor of the white snow goose. Her use of these materials is aligned with her feminist ambition to elevate techniques that had been historically classified as a domestic activity or women's work and present them within a fine art context. The snow goose, which lives during its mating season in the Canadian high Arctic, is represented in the center of the composition and is depicted in profile in front of a pinkish purple background. A representation of the Canadian flag is visible on the top and a border of embroidered gold maple leaves are carefully stitched around its circumference. The artist's name and the date she created it in 1971 appears along a banner at the bottom and the words protect creatures, the white snow goose of Canada, serves as the motto, a message advocating for the conservation of a bird that's so symbolic of the North. The crest that we have in our collection is one of several multiples, but what's unique about this one is the misspelling of the word Canada here. The letters read C-A-R-A-D-A, an error that I think was likely intentional and intended to be subversive. The crest raises questions about pollution and politics and how that in turn affects nationhood. So by replacing one letter in the word Canada, she's emphasizing how precarious nationhood really is, how mutable it can be and subject to change, erosion, or perhaps even evolution. Wheeland loved her country, but thought critically of it. And we hope that audiences today will do the same, that they'll look at this work and contemplate the enduring conservation efforts that have to be made to protect the creatures that we share this land with. But also to contemplate how our individual conceptions of nationhood um, are constructed and how they might have changed over time and how perhaps they might continue to evolve.